The talk of reparations has extended overseas, as many people very well know. A lot of people who talk about it overseas aren't even qualified to talk about it, but they just have to throw their two cents in no matter what. But and now is another interesting conversation that's coming up when it comes to reparations, and it actually doesn't have anything to do with foundational black Americans. It actually has to do with people in the diaspora. And you're probably wondering, why do I have a picture up of Benedict Cumberbatch? Well, first off, if you don't know who this is, this is the actor who is pretty much notoriously well known at this point for playing Doctor Strange in the MCU films. Now, the reason why I have a picture up about him is because he has a ties to reparations, not to receive any. Let me just put that out there, not to receive any, but his family has ties to sl the slave trade when it comes to people who are descendants of Barbados. Yes, you heard that correctly. As a matter of fact, the title on Insider says Benedict Cumberbatch's family could face legal pressure to pay reparations over historical links to Barbados slave trade. Now, we have said when it comes to reparations for foundational black Americans, that's just for us. If you feel you qualify for reparations and you are in the diaspora, but you are non FBA, then go and seek that from the people that you you that you would get it from this is all we ask we're not going to interfere with this i'm only reporting on it because there's something else at large here that i want to discuss but i'm gonna save that towards the end after i'm done reading the article the family of oscar nominated actor benedict cumberbatch faces the prospect of facing demands to pay reparations for slavery over historical links to a sugar plantation in Barbados, according to The Telegraph. The Caribbean nation of Barbados is starting to hone in on the wealthy descendants of slave owners as part of a campaign to get reparations for slavery. And they could thank us for that, because let's be real here. We were the ones that kicked off this conversation, and now everybody is starting to get... Some people are trying to leech onto what we got, but we, we, we're, we're slamming the gate down and we're saying if you were in the diaspora and you were affected by slavery, which nine times out of 10, you most likely were. You need to go after the people that was directly linked to that. So to the people of Barbados, kudos to you for actually doing this instead of trying to hitch your wagon to ours. Barbados National Task Force on Reparations, part of the CARICOM Reparations Commission, previously focused on seeking reparations from colonial powers and wealthy institutions that made hefty profits from slavery. Recently, however, it singled out a specific family for the first time, targeting the British conservative MP Richard Drax over his family's ownership of a vast sugar plantation on the island per The Guardian. David Commas commissioning or commissayong i'm guessing that's how you pronounce his name the barbados ambassador to caricom and deputy chairman to the state's task force told the guardian last month that drax and other families could face litigation if they don't agree to pay reparations now let me just insert this right here it's interesting that i'm talking about benedict cumberbatch who's in the mcu plays dr strange and they mention they mention the guardian and this person's last name is drax who, of course, is a character in the movie Guardians of the Galaxy. I just had to throw, you know, I had to throw that in there right quick. It is now a matter that is before the government of Barbados, he told the newspaper. It is being dealt with at the highest level. Now, what I like about what they're doing with this right now is that they're making these people or they're throwing in their face that y'all could face some kind of legal penalties or some legal legal repercussions if y'all don't pay like they're literally now like drilling at them like look y'all better get on y'all better get on the paper trail y'all get ready better pull out your pens and your checkbooks or whatever it is that you sign over when it comes to financials and y'all better make it uh make it do what it do now the cumberbatch family faces being targeted for a reparations claim. When pressed by the Telegraph on whether Cumberbatch's family will be pursued, Kamasayong did not rule it out. He said, this is at the earliest stages. We are just beginning. A lot of this history is only really coming out to light. 
David Denny, a leading campaigner for reparations and the general secretary of the Caribbean Movement for Peace and Integration, told The Telegraph, any descendants of white plantation owners who have benefited from the slave trade should be asked to pay reparations, including the Cumberbatch family. Cumberbatch's ancestor, Abraham Cumberbatch, bought the Cleland plantation in the 18th century. According to The Telegraph, it housed some 250 slaves until slavery was abolished in 1834. Now, before I go any further than that, you heard what I just read about his ancestor? This is exactly why Ben Affleck did not want that episode of, uh, what's the name of that show? The one with Louis Gates, uh, the one about the ancestry. That's why he didn't want that to be aired because it got exposed that he was the descendant of slave owners or as Robert Blacklight Revelation says, he's an adoso, an American descendant of slave owners. Well, here's the thing, Ben, if you are a PC man of European descent living in America, nine times out of 10, you ain't the only one. But the fact that he tried to hide that, I'm like, why would you do that? You may just, you put yourself in an even more worse spot. You should have just let that just spill on out in the episode. It is what it is. But see, the thing is that that white guilt was about to kick out of him because of that. And he didn't want that to get exposed. But like, I, like I said, black people in America, foundation of black Americans, we already know that we are, you know, where we came from as far as our ancestry goes. And we have to deal with that. But when he did that, it just showed that he and he's not the only one is ashamed, most likely, of what his ancestors did. OK, it is what it is. It happened. You can't go back in time and reverse 400 plus years of what occurred. But at the same time, you still benefited from it. And that's never going away. And like I said, that guilt was kicking out of him at that point. But again, let me continue. Let me get back into this, because like I said, this is going to drive home a stronger point. Per the Daily Mail, the Cumberbatch family made a fortune from the plantation. After slavery was abolished, the family received a payment of six thousand pounds from the British government, a sum worth approximately one million dollars in today's money, which means they got a lot after that. Now, pay attention to that. They got 6,000 pounds after slavery was abolished. As you can see, that that kind of thing transcended around the globe. Because when remember when slavery got abolished here, who got paid? The slave owners for what? Loss of labor. They got compensated when our ancestors were let go, were quote unquote free to go. And our ancestors, what did they get? absolutely nothing even though they were promised 40 acres and a mule didn't get not one acre or not one hair off of that mule the actor has spoken publicly about his family slave owning history he told the telegraph in 2018 we have our past you don't have to look far to see the slave owning past we were part of the whole sugar industry which is a shocker cumberbatch previously portrayed a slave owner in the oscar winning 2013 movie 12 years a slave talk about art imitating life he also portrayed william pitt the younger in the 2006 movie amazing grace about the battle to abolish slavery in great britain again art imitating life according to the daily mail cumberbatch viewed the role in amazing grace as a sort of apology quote unquote for his role i'm sorry for his family's role in the slave trade i'm sorry uh I'm going to just say BC. That's not an apology. You taking up a role in a movie called Amazing Grace is not an apology to the people who were under the thumb and foot and body of that system of that time. That is not an apology. That's far from it. And if you think that an apology like that is going to take away from what your family's most likely going to have to pay. You got another thing coming. I'm just saying. The newspaper also reported that Cumberbatch's mother once advised him not to use the family's last name professionally in case it made him the target of a campaign for reparations. Interesting. That's what his mother told him. So she knew what could come of this. It's almost like she predicted that this was coming. Um, she said, 
uh, professionally. So I'm guessing this was early on in his career. I can't really pinpoint how long he's been acting, but it's been over 10 years. I'll put it like that. Uh, that's interesting. That's interesting. It's almost as if his mother was trying to tell him to legally change his name so they could not come after him. But it's not like they wouldn't have been able to figure it out because I'm sure in one of those bios, it would have had it listed down what his real name was. It wouldn't have been that hard to find. And besides that name, Cumberbatch is not a name that you hear every day. It's not a common name. Like whenever I hear that name, I'm always going to associate it with him. It's not like his last name is Williams or Johnson or something like that, where it's, you know, common. Cumberbatch did not immediately respond to insider requests for comment. I don't know what Dr. Strange is going to do, but I don't think there's not enough conjuring and spells and mystic arts and whatnot that's going to get him up out of this. I know I just threw that pun in there. That's just a character, but you know, I had to throw it in there. Now, the bigger point that I wanted to make, because I said I was going to make it at the end of the article, is that this right here, what's going on right here, is what's going to scare the establishment on a global scale. It's already got a lot of the PC in their feelings on a domestic scale when it comes with us. But what they're going to be even more scared about now is that a lot of other people in the diaspora are going to start doing what Barbados is doing right now with his family as well as others that they can tie a connection to slavery when it came to them. Because remember, slavery was a global thing. It just didn't happen in just the states. It was it floated in various from different parts. So what the global establishment is going to be scared of is that now black people in the diaspora are going to start getting ideas to go and do some research and see where their family lineage uh, goes to and who was under that foot and that thumb and that body of them slave owners. And then they're going to be like, OK, now it's time for you to pay up and it's time for you to pay up and it's time for you to pay up. Of course, they're going to send the slings and arrows our way because we would have went and kicked it off. But I'm glad that Barbados is doing this, though. Hopefully other places in the diaspora take note of what they're doing and have and go after the people that you're supposed to go after and not try to leech onto what we got going on. I mean, granted, I know we are the trendsetters of the world. I say that all the time. Shoot, if I wanted a tat, I probably would get it tatted on my body somewhere, but I won't. So for that matter, I would just say, hell, I might get it as a shirt. The fact of the matter is the global establishment is not going to like this. And it really at this point is not about what they like. It's about what's right. And what's right is those tangibles. Like I said, they are in fear. They are going to be in fear that other black people in the diaspora are going to do what Barbados is doing right now. That's what they're going to be scared of. If they can come after an Oscar winning actor, a person who has made a lot of money himself and for the franchises he's been in. And I'm talking about with the MCU and the Doctor strange movies and the iterations of that character going after the small person is going to be a breeze. 